all right guys welcome back to a new video today we are right here with a new kia sportage 2022 model gt line version and in this video i will make the full review interior exterior i will try to show you everything about this new sportage i will talk a little bit about the the boot space about the material quality i will talk about the technology we will talk about everything about the car also about the exterior and also i will give you the technical data now guys if you are from switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Bern I will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check them out guys they they have also great discount and also great service and they have all the cars right here so check them out as I said before before we go forward I want to give you the technical data and some information about the car the car that I have with me is the Sportage 1.6 liter TGDI hybrid version this is the full hybrid version that means the car come with an electric motor and also a petrol uh, engine that work together to give you the power to explain you more clearly that means the petrol engine 1.6 liter tgdi that comes with four cylinders in line the power of the petrol engine alone is 180 horsepower but because it has another electric motor that work with this petrol engine the electric motor has 16 horsepower and together will produce 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters so if i remember well i will check in a second and then all this system will help you to have a better uh, economy and also better performance and better co2 emission now let's talk about the price the starting price the basis price of the car 51,950 francs is the beginning the starting price without any options here are the options included in this gt line package you will have the pack drive wise plus then the pack drive wise plus park assistant the blind spot technology here you have the 360 degrees camera metallic color you will have to pay 790 francs for the panoramic glass roof 1500 francs and for the sportage lunch package you will have to pay 1500 francs this is totally deserve it you will see it when we go outside and then i will explain you everything i will show you also the glass roof that looks super nice all these options right here that i will explain you in the video they are included in the price then the price of the car normally with all this option will be 55,740 francs but here at Emil Frey in Bern you will have a discount of 3,840 francs so the final price will be 51,900 francs I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea it's a very good price at least here in Switzerland for what this car can offer it's a really good price as I said in so many videos if you would buy a BMW or Mercedes or Volvo with all these options in this class you will pay around 100,000 francs anyway that's something to keep in mind as a comparison i'm not telling that this one is better or something like that but in my opinion it's not such a big difference anyway let me go deeper in technical data and then we will go to the review exterior interior as i said before the car come with a 1.6 liter petrol engine with four cylinders in line combined with an electric motor together will produce 230 horsepower 350 newton meters this car right here it's a four wheel drive system so that means you can go in the winter without any problem or also in mud sand and all kind of conditions so that's a good thing all this power and all those systems are connected with a six speed automatic transmission is the same system as hyundai use it also on their cars for example hyundai tucson santa fe and so on the trunk space capacity 587 liters if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1776 liters the 0 to 100 around 8.2 seconds maximum speed of the car 193 kilometers also if you're curious about the battery battery that the car uses it for this full hybrid system is the same battery as hyundai tucson use it it's a 1.49 kilowatt hour battery 270 volt it's a lithium polymer battery and that's connected with that electric motor 60 horsepower that i told you before also the car come with a fuel tank capacity of 52 liters front suspension we have independent 
McPherson suspension on the rear we have multi-linked independent suspension and front brakes we have ventilated brake discs on the front and on the rear we have only brake discs the car usually come with 19 inch rims but on this car that I have it with me we have 17 inch rims because they also already changed the tires they put the winter tires and that's why they change also with the rims and we have a smaller rims but as I drive the car check out by the way the test drive video I noticed that it's so comfortable it's incredible comfortable with those winter tires so guys those are the most important technical data if I miss something ask me down below now let's go outside and then we will go inside and I will explain you every single feature about the car so yeah let's do it all right guys first of all let's start with the key this is the key the same key as uh, key i use it also on the other models the only difference on this key is that the key come with a few buttons here you probably wonder what are those buttons those buttons are a very cool system for example you can start the car from this button remotely from outside the car you don't have to be inside the car and then you have this button forward parking backward parking that means you can summon the car backward and forward without being inside the car you can take it out from the parking place you can put it in the parking place the same as tesla car can do the same as hyundai tucson and santa fe and some other uh, hyundai cars can do in the last years probably more and more kia cars will be able to do that so what you should do you should go close to the car here First of all, let me close the car and hold this button for a few seconds until the engine you can see right now it's on. I don't know if you can see it inside there, but the engine it's on right now. And then all you should do is you should choose where you want the car to go. For example, you want to go forward, you press this button, you hold it for a few seconds. Look at this. And the car will go forward. Look at this, guys. How cool is that? Nobody inside the car. Yes. And then you release it boom and the car will stop you want to summon backwards you press this button a few seconds the car will check we'll go in reverse we'll even turn on the lights for you and then look at this and then if it feels it's someone here it will stop because the sensors will see you are here how cool is that and now the engine it's on so keep in mind this is a very very cool features that you can do with the key from here turn on the the engine and turn off the engine the same thing the same way as you turn it on from here now what you can do with the key more of course it's a keyless entrance if you press this button you can lock and unlock the car also you can see it comes with electric folding mirrors and also the mirrors are really really fast you can see the the engine the motor behind them it's really good quality it has also an ambient light here on the handles i don't know if you can see it it's really cool in the nighttime look great Another thing that you can do with the key, it's open the trunk. Look at this. Press it a few seconds and you open the trunk. Automatic lift gate in the trunk. Also, if you want to close it the same way, you press it a few seconds and you close it. Very good systems that Kia added on this Sportage and they work really good. They feel smooth, they feel premium, they feel very good quality. Now guys, I want to turn on the, the lights and the engines and then we will talk a little bit about the exterior design. I like very much the new design of the car. They still keep that kind of crazy design and different and alien look, I should say, but it's nicer. It's much nicer than the previous version. If the previous version was not my style, this one, this new Kia Sportage, definitely look much better than the previous version. I like the lines, I like the style. I think it's a modern and new car, new edge car, I should say. It looks really, really good. Also the technology, the full LED lights that they add on the car, uh, the lines, everything look good. I mean, I really, really like it. Not sure about those winter tires that they added in right now, uh, because right now you can see we have 17 inch tires on the car. Usually the car come with 19 inch tires, but right now because it's winter, they add those uh, 17 inch tires and make the car look a little bit not so nicer uh, but if you would have a 19 inch rims maybe some chrome rims or something brighter and not black rims the car will look much nicer but overall if you look overall at the design of the car speaking about the design of the car uh, i think it's nice i really like it here on the roof we have some roof rails glossy black plastic look really nice really premium a lot of cool features they added on the car and this one it's look 
uh, really, really cool. And I like that these roof rails in combination with radio antenna, black, glossy and nice. We have a glass roof all over here that looks really good. We have the glossy plastic around the windows, around here, even between the, the windows here, we have this glossy plastic and also on the mirror that make the car look really, really good. Also this protection here from the wheels, the, the down skirt here on the doors looks all in black, glossy. Also some chrome design line that goes right here on the spoiler, down here around the windows, on the down part. Kia adds nice lines to the car and this is something that I like. I like also very much the roof spoiler here with the glossy plastic that extend here. Brake light up here, LED light, look really nice on the car. Here in the back we have wonderful design, wonderful line here, kind of a second spoiler here in the back that looks quite nice also tinted windows in the back the same as Hyundai Tucson they add this wiper up here you can see it's hide it down there and it make this area here much more flatter and it helps also the aerodynamic of the car much more uh, than the previous version and the other cars so look how interesting is this area here it looks really really like a electric car I should say I don't know really flat and nice also the new Kia logo, really nice integrated GT line right in here on the right side. Sportage, quite nice. The leathers, the way they, they integrated in the car, also the way they integrate this light here, the tail light. We have turning signals, LED light, tail light, LED light, reverse light, fog lamps, everything. It's LED, and from this point of view, I love it. They did a great job. Also, another touch uh, glossy black plastic around down part here. We have reverse camera here and the only thing that I was surprised to see is that I don't know why they add normal halogen light to the number plate. I was expect to have LED lights and I don't know why. This is a big question. Why you should have so nice design LED lights everywhere and the light for the number plate to be just halogen light. Really, really big question for me. Now down here guys on the bumper in the back we have six sensors so the first one is here on the side and then we have four parking sensors and the sensors on the side they are for the blind spot and all that safety features that the car come with and that i tested in the test drive video you can check it out down here the fog lamps by the way there are normal halogen light you can see down here it's a normal bulb light and if i'm not wrong i was also turn on the fog lamps yes they were off right now, they are on. Look at this, normal halogen light guys, down here. So the reverse light, it's LED, uh, the brake light and the turning signals are LED, but the halogen light, it's bulb light and also those number plate light. Anyway, if you go down here, also a nice kind of design on the bumper, kind of an air diffuser. They try to, to fake it down here, that looks really good and then the exhaust pipe the real one it's right there on the right side yeah it's look good also keep in mind that the fog lamps are on the both side and you have also some light reflector here on the side going here on the side you can see they add also uh, this black glossy protection around the wheels this plastic will protect the paint of the car in case you scratch this area so you probably don't know but those areas are the most scratches area in a car so the fact that they add this plastic and more and more car manufacturers add this plastic here it's because they want to protect the paint you don't have to repaint the car the doors the the panel here you just change those plastics and then you're good to go so that's why you will see more and more of this plastic uh, around the edges of the car but it also look look nice now when you open the door, I like the fact that you open it with all this part here, all this plastic and even on the down part. So that means if you hit something uh, with the door, you will be protected somehow. And down here on the down skirt, it looks also nice. A nice combination of white plastic with this glossy black plastic. Look relatively good on the car. Now let's go in the front here, the same story. You can see the same glossy black plastic around the wheels to protect this area down here. Uh, you have also plastic, so if your wheels will throw stones in this area, you will be protected. You don't have to be worried about rust and stuff like that in this area because you have this plastic that you can change it very easy in time. So that means the car will last also 
longer. The handles of the door, as you see before, some ambient light in the doors here. You have this button, you can lock and unlock the car from both parts. In terms of quality, I should say the quality is very good. You can hear the door. It's quite nice. Also, you can see the array quite straight right here. If we look at the array, you can see that everything is array really good so they work in detail of the car so that's really fine now here huge mirror i should say it's really big mirror uh, you have blind spot technology in the corner going here you have led lights on the turning signals you have the uh, cameras here on the mirrors you will see the 360 degrees camera when we go inside and also overall even the legs of the mirror it's made by glossy plastic so aerodynamic and the design are cool really nice up here on the windscreen in the middle, we have the camera and the sensors for raining and light, the camera for uh, reading the traffic speed limits, uh, signs, and also we have the lane assist and all that system that work with the radar. The radar is down here of the car uh, that work together with the cameras and with the sensors to give you the best performance in terms of safety, in terms of safety feature, adaptive cruise control and all that stuff. Check out the test drive video there, I explain you and I show you how this system work. If you look at the hood guys, relatively the hood is very simple. Not many sharp edges, not many uh, curves and stuff like that. It's just a simple hood. On the upper side we have the Kia, new Kia logo. Here on the side it begins these sharp edges where begin also the lights in the front. And the lights in the front look like an alien. I mean, it's, it's really interesting the way they design it. We have this daylight here, a combination with glossy plastic. It looks so modern. Uh, the turning signals, LED, high beam, low beam, everything. It's LED right there. And it's also the latest technology in terms of light. I heard and I see that they are really, really good. And also I can go a little bit backwards. You can see a little bit better from this angle. They, they look nice. And they are super super useful in the nighttime. Those uh, LED lights, even the fog lamps down here are LED lights. So everything in the front, it's LED. No bulb light in the front. Now, here in the middle, you have also glossy black plastic right here. They somehow keep that shape in the middle there. The grill, the front grill, it's huge, guys. It goes almost all over the front part of the car. This is a glossy uh, plastic black grill. You have big huge air intakes right there and you have also some pedals i don't know if you can see the pedals are open right now but those pedals inside there guys they will open and close depend on the temperature of the engine if the engine need to be cooled down they will open up if, if the engine is cold they will close up uh, to keep the temperature there so very smart system also on this kia sportage here we have a front camera so for 360 degrees camera then down here you have the radar you have air intakes again even on the down part we have those pedals there so keep in mind uh, they put the system everywhere so great smart system gt line here on the grill logo fog lamps you already see them other than that this is the front part this is the front part guys i don't know if i missed something on the exterior of the car probably the rims usually keep in mind that if you buy the car you will not buy it with those rims those are some Bridgestone winter tires that they added on the car because it's winter they changed the, the original rims and they add these Kia rims probably they take it from the old Sportage because I see them before on the old Sportage they look okay but I don't know with this car maybe in the winter time but usually I will add the bigger rims maybe the original one they are 19 inch rims they look much better and some white i would get some white you know something like that something something uh, a brighter color will look much better on the car anyway ventilated brake discs on the front on the rear we have only brake discs yeah that's that's enough and that's pretty good for the car here on the left side keep in mind you have the tank the petrol tank it's here so you can fuel the car from the driver's side so that's a good thing i like that so overall guys this is the exterior it's a nice design i have to say that i like it it's nothing to complain about it when i see the car first time i see it on the green color and it was look much better on the green even though i'm a big fan of white color i don't know why i think this uh, kia sportage it's more appealing on the green uh, color i don't know but overall 
it's a good design it's a nice design and also the quality it's very good and i see they put they put a lot of work in every every single thing here also they add the, the, the door they make it a little bit more extended here so it will protect this area you will not get dirty on your pants when you go inside the car when you touch it like this i see that the rubber they add it around the car are also good quality so overall yeah, it's fine it's really fine now let me close the lights and also the lights and also let me show you the engine bay guys here we have a manual lift gate and it's a really heavy quite heavy door right here at the engine bay now here is the engine here's the system the same system as hyundai use it also on tucson and santa fe we have this 1.6 liter tgdi stream smart stream g hybrid system you have there the, the air filter the engine here here's the motor with the liquid cooling with all that stuff and the wipers are here and yeah this is it 230 horsepower together 350 newton meters all right guys let's go in the trunk here you have a button you just have to press it and then uh, you have an automatic lift gate and you will see right now how big and how spacious is this trunk? I have to tell you, from the point of view of uh, storage space here in the trunk is just incredible. I don't know, the way they shape the car in the back that allow the car to have a big, huge entrance and you have a super, super big entrance where you can fit in a lot of stuff. That's super practical. Up here, you have a handle. You have a button to, to close the trunk if you want to. Entrance right here, you have some plastic at the entrance. You have a flat floor right here. This is super, super practical. I like that. Then here on the left side, you have a 12-volt port. Hooks in the left side, LED light. You have those handles to fold down the seats. I will show you in a second. You have this protection for the trunk if you want to add it like that. Or if you want to take it out. I will also take it out to show you how it looks without it here on the right side you have a speaker you have a hook here and down here guys keep in mind under the floor because it's a four-wheel drive system because it's a hybrid system with the battery they have to fit in the tank and all that stuff you don't have so much space under the floor here but relatively big space i should say in my opinion you can still put in here a lot of stuff let me pull this a little bit just like that you can see right here that you still have plenty of space to put your things right there and what I notice is that this uh, floor you can even put it a little bit down just like that and you win a few centimeters here if you need a little bit more space here in the trunk you can do that and it's super super practical now guys I want to take out this protection and then I will fold down the seats and I want to show you how much space you still have there all right I just take out that protection you can check out one more time the way it looks the trunk so as I said, the entrance is huge. It's, it's really, really practical. Now, another practical thing is the fact that you can fold down the middle part just like that. And you have a flat floor and you can carry long items without any, any problem. It's great that you, you are able to carry your skis or wherever you have uh, to carry. It's, it's super, super practical. Now, here you have some hooks and you have those handles. And if you want to fold down the seats, you do it just like that. It's just one second you have all the seats folding down uh, almost completely another cool thing is that the seat belt it has this plastic holder here in order to not always have to pull the seat belt like this and then fold the seats up and stuff like that so this is really practical thing uh, the way they stay let me put this down let me show you the way it looks right now now check this out guys check this out look at the trunk you have a flat floor almost almost a flat floor here a lot of space in the trunk you can carry here big items mobile parts without any problem even fridges wash machines yeah it's super practical entrance is big it's more than enough for for a daily uses and also you can see that glass roof 1500 francs extra totally deserve to get it all over the roof it looks wonderful wonderful anyway super practical and super big this space i don't know if you can see it on the camera so well but i tell you in reality i will give it a 10 from 10 to this space here because it's very very big anyway 
Let me go on the side to show you from this angle as well. Open the door here. You can see, I like the fact that you can open the door almost 90 degrees. So that means you have a big, huge entrance here because you don't have any window left here. They allow the, the door to open even wider and they allow the car to have a bigger entrance. So the entrance is it's spectacular big. Now you can see one more time the space there. You can make an idea the way the space look. And also, in my opinion, it's very spacious. Very spacious. You can put a lot of stuff here. The quality is good. It's a flat uh, floor here. Uh, if you put that ground a little bit higher, you have a completely flat floor. And that's that's really awesome. You can still have left some storage space here on the legs room. Also, the transmission tunnel is not so big. Uh, it's relatively good. Super good, super modern. I like it. I like the way it looks. Anyway, guys, I want to put everything back and we will go inside to see the, the interior of the car. Guys, let's go forward. Now let's talk a little bit about the door. Uh, the door design look nice. The same as the exterior, quite nice, modern design. I like the fact that you have a huge window here and also they extend it with this small one. That means you have a lovely visibility from the interior. Uh, here on the door, on the upper side, keep in mind, it's plastic right here on the upper side. Then we have this handle, quite futuristic handles. I like the way they look and also they feel good, good quality. Also some nice trim here. Uh, around the handles. I like the way it looks. Then here uh, the things, the better things start to happen. We have Alcantara. So everywhere here in this area you have Alcantara high quality. Here we have leather soft material. I like that. Also the buttons to close and open the windows. If you're curious how much you can fold the window, you can fold it all the way down. So not many cars can do that these days. And also the system I see that works very good. The quality of the button is very good. You have heated seats, two position heated seats on the back here. Then you have some glossy plastic handle here, leather. Now here you have some storage space for a cup holders and then you have a big speaker and we have Harman Kardon speakers right here, guys. You can see it and also nice integrated this chrome design here. Really lovely. Big entrance uh, in the car, as I said before huge huge entrance down here at the entrance you have some nice uh, plate aluminum plate and before i show you the seats i want to show you one more time the glass roof look lovely the glass roof really nice anyway this is the space here in the back you can see relatively good space also the seats look phenomenal i mean the quality of the seats are wonderful you probably wonder what is this this is for the seat guys look at this how many position you have to adjust these seats until you fold it down so if you don't want to have it all the way on the back you can leave it like this and in this way you will have much more space in the trunk there it would allow you to have more space and carry more things there uh, in the back um, if you need more space in the trunk so that's super super practical now if you want to fold it more you have to pull it and push it and right now you have all the way back in the seats and in this way you will have probably uh, the best comfort in the car but the seats look lovely uh, let's talk a little bit about the quality i like the fact that they add they extend these seats until here so you don't have any plastic here in this area to bother you or stuff like that you have leather you have these white stitches right here also the headrest look nice and high quality so we have leather here you have alcantara here you have again leather a nice trim level with a little bit holes and much much more softer and comfortable i can see that they work a lot of those seats they put a lot of work on those seats and quality so great job great job uh, iso fix you can install two child seats here on the back uh, also you can see the front part look lovely the same and also quite quite big right here in the back uh, here in the middle you don't have any uh, side support it's a flat flat floor that means uh, they think about free person having here in the back and we will test that space in a second i hope it's it's comfortable here in the middle we have this armrest with two cup holders also very useful uh, for for daily uses and behind the front seats you have kind of a support right here where you can put i'm not sure for what is this support but you can see they, they add this support i didn't see it before i didn't check for what it is but i think you can put something here i'm not sure about that i'll have to check if you if some of you knows guys what is this please write me in the comments 
here you have some plastic protection uh, in the back you have a hook here and also you have some storage space right here and this is leather it feels like leather now this seat it's way way too much in the back let me go in the front let me adjust it look at this it was way too much on the back also you have electric adjustment even from the passenger not only for the driver let me put it just like that. I think it's more, I think it's realistic right now. Also the back of the seat, a little bit more. Even my driver's seat is not in normal position. Yeah, let me go, let me, let me adjust also the driver's seat. I wanna make it realistic as possible. Let me go here, right now. Okay, it's good. And even the back. All right, now, now it's good. Now it's good, just like that. And then we will see how much space we have in the back there. Now, I like the fact that the transmission tunnel is not so big down there. So you can see from here, from this angle. Now, let's go inside the car. Go inside. Close the door. Oh, yeah. One more time. Yeah, the handles, the quality of the doors feel quite good. Also, up here, you have LED lights. Guys, so you have LED lights everywhere inside the cabin. You have LED lights and the quality is very, very good. Now, being here, first impression is that it's a big space. I feel like it's super spacious. When you look at the car from the exterior, you don't think it will be so spacious when you go inside here. I'm 173 centimeters and look at this. I have like four, five fingers over my head. I feel like I have a lot of space here in my place. I feel like the the quality is very good and the comfort is very good. When I leave the seats all over on the back, I feel crazy comfortable here. I love the way you can see on the glass roof. I love the visibility outside because this window is extending like that. You have a lovely visibility outside. So nothing to say about visibility, about the comfort. I love it. I mean, I, I like it very much. Anyway, let me, let me show you again. This is the space for five fingers. And then here, look at the space legs room more than enough at least for me i can stretch my legs onto the front seats without any problem there so you can see the seats you can see one more time the seats the way they are adjusted in the front this is my driving position and the other one it's a little bit more in the back and i still have plenty of plenty of space on my legs room so here it's also wide um, i like it i have a handle hook and also this LED light up here. Good quality on the roof, very good quality on the roof and also very good visibility on this glass roof. It's just phenomenal. I mean, I love the glass roof. Now here you have a flat floor. Let me go in the middle. Look how easy you go in the middle, guys. It's just super easy. And even here in the middle, you don't have a transmission tunnel. You can stay also with your legs somehow together. I like that. Space on your knees, more than enough space. Look at this, super, super spacious on my head, huge space until the glass. And if I stay on the back, pff, no problem. I mean, no problem about the space. I feel so comfortable here in the middle. I should say, I think this is the most, one of the most comfortable spaces in the middle. It's a little bit, a little bit, little bit stiffer than on the side, but it's much, much comfortable than what I felt in other, uh, in other car. It's really good, really good. Anyway. Stretch my hand, that's good. Stretch my hand, oh, that's good. Even free people can stay here without any problem. And I can say for the first time probably, you can do long trips also here in the middle without any problem. I like that and I think the seat belt it's up here, yes. Here is the seat belt. Quite nice, really. I like that. Look at this, it goes automatic back. Lovely, I like it. I like that really, really good system. Now here in the middle, guys, you have some storage space where you can put your phone. Here you have for the climatic system, you have free zones also in the back here. You have some vents. They feel good quality as you touch it. Yes, they feel nice. Then check this out. On the seats on the side, you have an USB-C on the driver's seat and another USB-C on the passenger seat. How cool is that? super nice super nice now guys the glass roof you already see it wonderful and the dashboard and the multimedia system we will go right now in the front and we will talk about them but 
first of all from this angle you can see the dashboard you can see how nice they designed the dashboard i think it's futuristic i think it fit with the exterior of the car i think it's modern i think it's new i love the way they they somehow design the the cockpit and the dashboard you can see they have a nice design a round design there really really modern really nice and also it's somehow they tinted to the driver's side and it, it looks super nice everything looks perfect uh, probably one of my favorite dashboard in this class anyway let's go in the front we have a big window split in two so we have a fixed one and a bigger one i drive the car i did the test drive and the visibility was perfect i mean i didn't even notice that it's split in two and you have also big mirrors uh, you will see when we go inside great visibility now let's don't forget that kia offer you also seven year warranty not all the cars offer you that uh, that's something to keep in mind before we go forward now in the front the doors quality is changing slightly the design stay the same beautiful design i love the design of the door really really nice uh, here we have soft everywhere we have kind of a i'm not sure if it, this is leather but it feels like it's leather everywhere on the upper side then you have this handle big handle nice handle and also it feels good quality as you touch it also the same nice interesting trim level around here then you have the buttons two buttons to save your electric seat position here we have alcantara very good quality here we have leather and also soft you can see right here it's soft and nice you can see the stitches here we have the button for electric windows, electric adjustable mirrors, lock and unlock, child lock, folding mirrors, lock the windows button, everything is here. Here we have a lot of storage space where you can put your stuff, plenty of storage space. So here it's a light reflector, then we have Harman Kardon speaker, a big speaker right here. So overall very good quality I should say in one word. Some aluminum plate at the entrance, we have aluminum pedals as well, even on the carpet GT line, there's right in here, here's the fuse box in this area here guys, going forward. The entrance is big, check out one more time the glass roof, look how beautiful it looks, love that glass roof guys. Now look at the seats, this is the GT line seat package, wonderful seats. I love them really beautiful really comfortable i sit on them while i'm driving it's they are super nice look at the quality close up if you look close up at the quality of the seats uh look at the gt line writing there look in the middle uh those little lines and super comfortable alcantara side support side support down here electric adjustable seats from here you can adjust it electrically just like that also the lumbar part wonderful nothing to say in terms in terms of seats the quality it's top 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 good going forward here on the dashboard we have electronic handbrake i love the the black glossy plastic the way they add it here with a little bit of chrome here we have so electronic handbrake we have traction control on and off we have the button to open the trunk and you probably wonder what is this 12 volt battery reset that mean if you forget your lights open if the battery the 12 volt battery will die completely yes you will don't have any battery in the 12 volt battery what happened then you come to the car you press this button and you reset the 12 volt battery that means the other battery from the hybrid system will recharge somehow the, the 12 volt battery and then you will be able to start the car it's happened this to me when i did a review with hyundai tucson first time the, the hybrid uh, version i leave the, the lights open without the engine on and then the battery was dying and i was okay i have to recharge the 12 volt battery and uh, the guys from there tell me okay you just have to press this button and then you reset it and then everything it's it's on again and then i press it and it's reset it it's a great feature that not i don't know if other cars have it only kia and hyundai have it this button anyway great great system then again this chrome this kind of not chrome i should say this uh, trim design here on the dash the same as on the door we have this kind of futuristic vans right here quite nice with chrome and glossy plastic on the upper side on the dash everywhere soft material here you have soft soft material everywhere on the dashboard you have soft material guys i like that very good quality going inside 
talking about the sound insulation. I noticed when I did the test drive that the sound insulation inside the cabin, it's very, very good. Nothing to say about that. Visibility around the windows, you can see for yourself right now. It's very good, big mirrors, very good, very good visibility. And also we have a tall driving position from here. I noticed that when I drive the car, great visibility around the windows. You can see one more time the seats in the back there. You can see that here in the middle, the car come with an armrest, the same leather uh, design, same soft and nice. Open this up, you have a huge space there to put your stuff, close this thing. Here is a big storage space. Look at this, you press these buttons, you have some space for your cup holders. But if you don't want the cup holders, you press this back in and you have even more huge space here to put your stuff. Then I love the way they designed this, this middle center console right here. You have some ambient light here on the side, it's red right now. You have ambient light here. Um, it looks wonderful, this glossy plastic, the way they integrate those buttons looks so, so fancy i don't know about scratches but the way it looks it looks really good you have auto hold button right here you have down downhill assist button here you have different driving modes here guys uh, i will show you also on the screen in a second you have parking sensors and you have this button right here um, this button is for the cameras you have 360 degrees camera so if you press this button and let me show you look at this the same cool system as hyundai use it so if you turn you can see right there what it's around the car in this moment you can see the parking you can see the resolution of the camera it's very good you can press this button and you can see it from different angles how cool is that look at this you can see the side cameras let me go back and if you press this button down here you can see the car 360 degrees around the car and you can play with it just like that look at this you can see where is the car right now in this moment. So I noticed that the quality, the resolution of the cameras, it's incredible good, guys. Look at this. Look look how good it looks. It's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful system. I love this system and I think it's one of the best. I love it. Really, really great system. Now from here, from this wheel, guys, you can change different driving modes. And we have right here, we have two driving modes. We have the sport, the eco mode and the sport mode. So that's something to keep in mind. If you press on it, you have the terrain mode where it's snow, mud and sand. And because it's a four wheel drive system, um, you can drive without any problem and also some kind of off-road conditions. That's something to keep in mind. Then I like very much this shift by wire transmission. Uh, you just have to press it uh, to rotate it left, turn right, and you go and drive and reverse and the parking button is right here. You press it and you are in parking. So this is just wonderful. Good, going up here, you have the start stop engine button and here on the side you have heated seat, ventilated seat, heated steering wheel for you and a passenger lovely 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 system and included in this price it's incredible here you have wireless charging guys wireless charging and then you have another usb port two usb c 12 volt port there awesome and you can also close this if you want to it's super fancy just like that and also it feels very good quality i have to say it feels even better than much more expensive cars so great job kia i love it now i want to show you something extra to the 360 degrees camera I want to show you that when you turn the signals left or right you can see this high this this is called uh, blind spot view monitoring and Kia and Hyundai use it uh, on the cars on the newest cars and you can see what it's in the blind spot if you don't see really well in the mirror you can see also in the blind spot and it's working no matter what speed you have so this is this is an awesome system that the car come with great now let's go forward here guys we have a glow box the glow box is relatively big you have a normal light right there uh, you can see it up there and you can see the storage space it's relatively good no problem in terms of that up here on the dash you have soft material everywhere you have a speaker here you have speaker on the a pillar and you have this wonderful design right here i love the way they design they integrate this part here in the dash i like very much the way they integrate those vents down here it's a, it's a round shape the screens have a round somehow a round shape I don't know if you can see it so well from the camera, but they have a wonderful round shape and really nice integrated blind 
uh, the turning signals actually the hazard signals are here but and then you have this nice nice stream here in this area it's also something really interesting look at this guys here right now in this moment you have the climatic system so for example you can change the temperature you can put driver only you can change the van speed it's kind of a touch screen yes it's really really it's work really good I mean it's really responsive then here you have all those uh, rear defroster maximum auto climatic and this is kind of uh, recycle the air inside the cabin but if you want the shortcut for the multimedia system you just go here and you press this button and right now here is the volume here is the map and you have shortcut button for the map for the multimedia for the radio for the media for the setup here and then it get directly there those are shortcut button in this moment and if you want climatic system you go here and you press this button how cool is that really awesome right it's really really cool it's kind of a touch screen nice touch to the car really intelligent really unique uh, smart thing here and I like it I have to say I like it very much the way they did it going forward guys now let's talk a little bit about the steering wheel steering wheel is the GT line steering wheel you can see right in here um, it's a great grip uh, it's a great size perfect size it's also very assisted I noticed that in the, in the test drive video uh, the stalks are very similar with what we find also on the Hyundai for example and also on other models we have pedals here behind the steering wheel to change the gear manual if you want to great grip great quality on the steering wheel here we have the controls for the voice command radio and all that stuff here we have the controllers for the cruise control and also the screen I will show you in a second and also if you want to find out more check out the test drive video now this is the steering wheel very nice steering wheel the screen right there in the front it's almost the same screen as Hyundai uh, use it on the latest cars and there you can see information about consumption for example you can see information about uh, tire pressure temperature oil and stuff like that it's not so complex and complicated as a Mercedes it is or uh, but it's still still very good you can see a lot of information there in the front you can see the consumption uh, on the last 156 kilometers it's 8.5 liter consumption pretty good on the last 17.6 9.6 and here it's a kind of a view of energy view um, flow the energy flow view and stuff like that this is the cockpit the multimedia system I have to say it comes with a 12 point three inch or something like that it's a huge screen it's one of the most biggest screen in a car uh, I have to say if you go right and left here you will see this is the main menu kind of a home screen something like that and here you have the hybrid system one of the most important here it show you what happened right now with the car also you can see on the screen the energy flow right there it shows you what happened with the energy in this moment now it show you all kind of information about the car guys like energy flow like consumption um, energy motor electric use how much you use this motor then if you go back you have the map here the map it's a 3d map it's the latest map from Hyundai and Kia and it's one of the best I have to tell you I like very much this map it's very easy to use you set the destination press the button it's calculate instantaneous it's working really fast it's just like that you can see right now it's really really good from this point of view it's it's super super good also you can extend this right part here if you don't want to have the map all over the screen you can change the the right side right here and you can have other things on the right side look at this you can have consumption you can have whatever you want radio whatever you want to have you can have it on the right side or you can close this side and you have this navigation all over the screen lovely visibility from the driver point of view I have to tell you lovely and you can reach all those buttons super super fast and easy going to home right here um, then you have the navigation settings here if you go to navigation settings you can change different settings here about the navigation I have a full review with this multimedia system if you want to see it I go more in details with it phone projection if you, you can connect Android Auto and Apple CarPlay but you have to use a cable and a proven cable so you, you have to check out 
about that. Then you have the climatic system here where you can change different things also from here, not only from, from down part, but you can use it also, you can change it also from the screen. Then we have the quiet mode, the valid mode, Kia Connect. Then you have the settings here. On the settings, you have uh, the most important settings. For example, on the vehicle, you will have a lot of settings about the car. Uh, the driver assistance system here you have the parking safety the blind spot safety the driver attention warning forward collision driver convenience speed limit and lane assist and all kind of uh, infos like that if you want to access it you just press it here and it will get you directly to the to the settings and you can change the settings or you can simply go to this uh, menu here and you have all those settings just like that and you can change it from here you can adjust the different uh, settings the way you want it warning volume haptic warning driver attention forward collision you have to play a little bit with them to learn them all uh, very well be before you you start driving the car very interesting a lot of systems here a lot of safety system that comes with the car then you have the eco vehicle on the eco vehicle guys here keep in mind we have a few settings about the sound as you see before I tell you it's an alien sound in the test drive video if you see the test drive video uh, the alien sound you can change it from here then you have the start coasting when you want the car to start coasting normal early or late you can change some features here really interesting then the cluster instrument cluster brightness all that stuff settings are here climatic system settings seat settings light settings you can set up from here ambient light and all that stuff it's very simple you just go here and you change i think you can change even the colors here look at this you have a few colors to change from here really interesting also welcome mirror light stuff like that a lot of settings are here to be changed guys so you can go and play a little bit with them uh, convenience systems here you can go to wireless charging and stuff like that uh, really really interesting really deep a lot of settings here uh, to the vehicle then you have to the sound a lot of settings about the sound uh, the position the equalizer the driver guidance the radio noise driver assistance systems a lot of settings so from here you find so many settings guys where you can change um, things the telephone you see it already uh, the display settings then you have the general settings on the general settings you have uh, information about the software you have the system info here you have the date and time the language the keyboard the units you can change kilometer miles Fahrenheit and stuff like that PSI and whatever it's, it's super super complex this system it's really complicated it's the same system kind of the same system as Kia use it also on the latest this uh, new car that they uh, made up here the mirror it's also big and lovely i noticed that when i test drive the car look at this look at the visibility in the mirror it's perfect there it's perfect you see perfect in the back there uh, up here the car come with a big huge mirror not big huge mirror one of the biggest mirror ever and also a normal bolt light up here then you have some led lights as i said you have only led lights on the roof here the sos button and then you have another button here for the glass roof and let me show you the glass roof you can open this glass roof guys it's wonderful i mean not only that it's big and beautiful but you can also open it up and leave some air to come inside the car if you want to close it you can close this and you can close also the curtain electrically look at this you can make completely dark here cool huh anyway i will leave more air to come inside the car Okay guys, that was the video. I hope I cover everything. I hope you enjoy it. I didn't find the perfect place here to review the car. It's kind of annoying um, around here. Many people pass by, but because it's sunny outside, I want to keep the car somehow in the shadow uh, because I can review it a little bit better. You can see it a little bit better. If I put it in the sun, then you cannot see so well all the places and all the things of the car anyway. That was the video that was the review i hope you enjoy it guys i hope you find it useful if you still have questions ask me down below whatever question you have my rating for this kia sportage 
2022 version from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9 because a lot of safety feature a lot of comfort a lot of good quality materials with an overall very good price in my opinion and that's why um, this car receives such a big rating and also the exterior design and the lights and everything look really really nice and modern so that was the video guys by the way i'm in switzerland if you are in switzerland around switzerland i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car test drive the car and see it check out emil frey and baron link in the description uh, other than that thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate guys that thank you uh, also don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that it will mean a lot for me also i have another video a separate video test drive with the same car if you want to see it check it out next days on the channel we'll come there if it's not already on the channel right now click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out and that's it guys thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys